Welcome back to the channel everyone and I thought that I was going to do this video in two days and, but now we have uh, the song for Spain's national selection for Eurovision 2022 has been released I've seen several uh, top 14 videos but I'm going to skip that top thing um, I'm just going to see the song to so tell you what I think and I have to defend Spain from last year uh, I know they were part of those who got zero points from the public um, I like the entry Spain had yes, last year, or this year, uh, but the thing is that I saw a better version of the song. I saw the acoustic piano version in English, and I was like, that is the version he should have done. But, anywho, let's see if Spain can redeem themselves and don't get zero points two years straight. So, uh, let's see the songs from Spain's national selection. Yeah, call. subscribe to that channel. Oh. Now I'm ready. Okay, very last thing, yes. Okay, not bad. It's sexy. Blanca Paloma Secreto. Very movie score. Not bad, not bad. Chanel, Shlomo. Uh, I have to ask, is her name Chanel or is her name Slomo? Because I don't understand, but because she's, she's fierce. If she's singing about Chanel, I'm digging it. It's cute, and it has nice vocals. But I think, I think, yeah. No offense to Spain's national selection. I think they have the same issue for me like Cyprus had. I think they need to go in a different direction than send another ballad because they need to bring us back to the. I mean, I remember Spain in the beginning of the 2000s when they had that Latin. Uh, Spanish Samba vibe in uh, Copenhagen 2001. That is Spain, I remember. Then they had a Europe celebration. Woohoo! I mean, I want for some reason Spain to bring back the Latin Samba, uh, Samba flirtations, Latin American style, Mediterranean music, give me salsa, give me everything. I need that. So, no offense to Gonzalo Hermida with Queen Lodria. It's amazing. It sounds amazing, but I think Spain needs to go a little bit old school this year to make it stand out. That's just me. Okay. Xavier Mena. Mediocre. Whoa. Luna Kia. This is something I was not expecting. Digging it, girl. Marta Sandra. Kind of the way I was talking about before, but not strong enough. This is halfway there. This reminds me so much of the act they had 2008. Do the Macarena. Do... I Mamba. This has something. Rigo... Rigoberta Bandini. This has something. Oh, please, yes, send her. Sara. Diope, make you say. This is what I'm talking about. I want this again. I want to I want to. Hmm. 
Okay, la la la. Also about Spain's national selection, I'm waiting for Cristina Ramos to participate in the race to the national selection for to see her in Eurovision. Please send Cristina Ramos one year. I will so vote whatever song she has because she's amazing. Unique. I didn't know that Dressman and H&M commercial was here. I mean, they are uh, extremely attractive. But give me something. Okay, give me a little disco. This reminds me of someone. to say actually I mean I think the Spanish national selection has a very something very interesting acts because uh, there were several in there I was like I can see that win I can see that win and some of them I was like oh hell no um, hell to the no um, I think they have one of the more interesting national selection this year because some countries who have already released the songs have been like ah uh, no so yes, I have several in there, and if you have one you want me to dive into more deeply, you tell me tell me that in the comment section. Anywho, thank you Spain for providing us an interesting national selection, and I can't wait to see which one you pick.